Thank you for tuning in to Dub World. If you haven't done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's totally free. Subscribing helps the channel get recognized and will help us grow. Also remember to like and share the videos. So today's tip is dealing with safety. If you're ready, sit back and let's go. So if you've purchased the 2012 to 2019 Beetle, I'm sure you've already noticed by now the poor rear visibility. As you can see here, you can't really see too much out of the back of the car, especially with those big headrests. I'm going to give you a tip on removing those in another video. That's what I do with my car. But I couldn't believe how poor the rear visibility was when I purchased the car. So I went out and got some of these blind spot mirrors to help with the sides because the sides have issues as well. And they do their job efficiently. But I knew I needed to do something about the rear view mirror. So I did some online shopping on Amazon and I was able to find this big daddy right here. And I know what you're thinking, that mirror is huge. How can that possibly fit in that beetle? Well, let me tell you, it does fit and it works great. So the mirror itself is a clip on. It's got these little expandable feet on the back and all you simply have to do is just put it up over your stock mirror stretch it out and it just securely clips on it's a little difficult to do it one-handed while holding the camera but it can still be done just not as pretty so you see here i've got it over the top and i'm just stretching it down and getting it into place and there you go so take a look at the vision out of the back of the car now as you can see here it's so wide that you actually don't even need your side view mirrors. That's how wide a field of vision this mirror has. The great thing about it as well is that it does not block your sun visors from being used. That was one of the things that I was really worried about because here in Florida it's really bright and I definitely need to use those visors. But the great thing about the Beetle is the mirror is set so far back against the windshield that having a long mirror like this is not an issue and the visors don't get in the way. So I'll show you here, passenger side down, it does touch the mirror, but does not impede it at all. Driver's side, you have plenty of room. Sorry about the brightness there, uh, camera changing. But I could not have been happier with installing this mirror in my car. It was a great addition and it's something I recommend to everyone especially if you're concerned about safety, and I know you are. I'll leave you with a picture of the mirror that I ordered off of Amazon. I'll also put that link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate all of you who have subscribed and all of you who tune in to watch the videos and comments. In the future, we're gonna be running some giveaways, so keep that in mind. Keep supporting the channel, and I'll see you next time.